Two at five, the president of Cardinal Stritch University is speaking publicly for the first time since announcing that school will close for good next month. He tells our Mary Jo Ola there was nothing he could do to keep the doors open. We determined um, that after exhausting every possible avenue that we could not continue in our to deliver a quality education. After 85 years, Cardinal Stritch University is getting ready to close its doors for good. The university's president, Dan Scholes, has been here for nearly 20 years and in his current role since 2020. In January, leaders anticipated a $6 million deficit by the end of the academic year if nothing changed. Enrollment didn't meet expectations and infrastructure costs were mounting. Why wasn't there any communication that this was a real possibility given the school's financial state? Why weren't students and staff made aware that this could be the end? At the time, we believed that we had various pathways forward to close that gap. And so we certainly didn't want to say to anybody that we're, we could close. We didn't, certainly didn't want to panic. And we believed that we had different routes we could do um, to, to close that fiscal gap. Scholes says the board passed a resolution to wind down operations last week and the sponsoring sisters accepted it the next day, which was Thursday. Don't you think students and staff and their families, you know, who committed to the school had a right to know? Well, they they had the right to know um, when when we'd had all the information. We proceeded as thoughtfully and as carefully as possible. I asked Scholes about the school's financial history. The nearly $5 million in grants and PPP loan money that came in 2020 combined with the cuts to staff and costs. When your enrollment decreases and your revenue is decreasing, you obviously make adjustments on labor side and expense side, um, but it had gotten to a point that there was, there was nothing left to cut. Scholes expects to have partnerships with colleges finalized by next week to help students transfer. Cardinal Stritch will hold job fairs to help staff find work. Things here will start to wind down in late May after commencement. How much responsibility do you take for being in this situation now? It is true that under my watch, as in previous presidents, enrollment was dropping, and it has been dropping for a long time. Um, and so I'm the last piece of that history, and I was the unfortunate last president to say we, we cannot continue. For now, it's not clear what will happen to the property or what's next for Shoals. Mary Joola, TMJ4 News. And today, UW-Milwaukee said it will provide support and grants to all the Cardinal Stritch students who now need to transfer. And if they want to transfer to UWM, they'll get $1,000 transition grants. Those are available for students who apply by June 1st. They also have a dedicated admission advisor and application process to ease that switch. Cardinal Stritch students can apply for free.